Hello everyone. Today we'll see about some user exits. It means like as per the standard configuration, we are not able to succeed or achieve the requirement. So we are taking the above help in implementing the exits, nothing but user exits. Okay. So I will take one sample example. Okay. Say for example, the user requirement is the user requirement is in equipment tech ID field should be mandatory. Okay. Here we can make it mandatory with standard config, but we have a condition for only plant 2000. Okay. Assume we have two plants. Okay. 1000, 2000. Okay. For 1000 plant, tech ID should be optional. For this plant, tech ID should be mandatory. Okay. So this is the requirement. So just I'm taking very simple uh, requirement. Uh, just the concept is how we need to implement uh, exit and how we can we need to identify exit without Google help. Okay. Without Googling, how can we uh, get this? Okay. Now I will go to SAP. So if you go to SPR of this uh, equipment master, master data, tech objects in equipment. So here you can see define field selections for equipment master record. Okay. Here you need to see equipment specific fields. Okay. Tech ID is related to equipment specific. So if you go to the bottom, you can see here tech identification number. Okay. Here there is a option directly you can take it mandatory. When, when it is mandatory for both the plants. Then you can directly check this button and save and generate a TR transport request. But the requirement is different. So we'll, we, we, can, we have an option to check in influencing fields. If you click on influencing, here there are some options. Like you can make the field mandatory with respect to category, with respect to object type, with, re, with respect to reference category and activity category. Here we don't find a plant specific influencing field. That is the reason we are taking the ABAP help and writing the condition in the exit. Okay. Before that, we go to the equipment master IE01. Okay. Click enter. Test for exit. Okay. Now, here I want to make this mandatory. So, this is the tech ID number. Okay. So, to find the exit for this transaction, go to system and click on the status. <clears throat> Here we can see the transaction, uh, give a double click on this. Here you can see the package, copy this package, go to transaction SMOD, go to enhancement and here you can see the package option. Star, enter. Now you can see the list of exits. Okay. Here you can see IE QM001. You can see the description also very clearly. It is again additional check for equipment installation at function location. Okay. It is not required for us. Additional check for definition of equipment hierarchy. Additional check for equipment update. So this will be our exit. So equipment update means equipment updating in the SAP. Uh, either at a new one or existing one. <clears throat> so that can be called as an update. Now I am taking this exit. Okay. And uh, I am writing a condition here. Okay. Use exit. Okay. In transaction IE01 or IE02. Here you need to mention both the transactions because 
when they enter with IE01 and they maintain the technical identification number and save it, again, they can enter in the same equipment number in IE02 and they can remove the tech ID number. So these are the chances. So we need to maintain in both the transactions, change and create. Why we are maintaining I expand, right? Yeah. In transaction IE01, IE02, field tech ID should be mandatory for plant 2000. So this is the requirement. But ABAPERS required it in a technical way, not a, a text way. Okay. So here we need to maintain tech ID in a technical form. Okay. We can see, go back one step. Go back another. Here you can click on F1 and click on technical identification. You can see tech ID number TID or not. So here field TADNR should be mandatory for plant. What is a plant? What is a plant? We go to F1. This will be S work. Okay. For plant S work. Okay. Okay, in some cases, in some cases, they may also ask for planning plant, not maintenance plant. Then what we need to do, we need to check the planning plant. Where you can see the planning plant? In organization tab, you can see the planning plant. That will be I work. You can see I work. So if they want to make it under planning plant condition, then you can it will be S work or I work. So here in transaction IE01 or IE02, Field TADNR should be mandatory for S work. So this condition can be returned in this exit. Okay. Now, else error message as tech ID is mandatory. Like this, there should be error message. So likewise, we can develop one enhancement with SAP plant maintenance exits. So I hope you understand how to find the exits. Uh, this is applicable for all the transactions. Just go to transaction, go to transaction, double click on that system status and check the package, go to SMOD, give the package and check the available exits. So without any Google, we can, we can understand how to get the exits. Hope uh, you learn something now. Your Thanks phone for your time. Data is turned off, so I can't help you with that at the moment.